picked up a, a big win for you, obviously a UFC victory. Just tell me, you know, kind of how that felt, how important that was for you. Yeah, um, Marianne Renault, uh, she was ranked. She, um, she, she was, she, you know, it was my first win. It wasn't my second, or it wasn't my first fight. But it would have been my first win, and it was. Um, so I, I felt like I needed that just to prove that I was, you know, ready and, and I'm supposed to be on the UFC level, you know. Um, financially, obviously, um, prove to myself, too, that, you know, I, I need to be on this level. So, I mean, in every aspect, I felt like I needed it. Plus, you know, coming off a loss, you know, you don't have to lose too many to get cut. So it just felt real important at the time, and it was important. So it was everything to me. It's such a unique challenge for you because, I mean, you're still so young in your career, right? I mean, you're still kind of learning the game, but you're learning it at the highest level. <laughs> Can you talk about how you balance that of, of, you know, having that feeling that, yes, I do belong to be in the UFC, but you're still kind of learning and getting better as well? Yeah, you know, I, I think that I've been kind of – thrown to the wolves as far as uh, my MMA, MMA career goes, but it's okay because uh, ever since I was young, when I started my athletic career, I think uh, started in high school wrestling, being on a boys team, and then you know going to college, and, and now the MMA um, aspect of it, I kind of have adapted to uh, rise to the occasion, basically. So you know, if you fight someone on the top level, you know you got to bring your A game, and that's what I think I always do, and, and it's always at the back of my mind. You know, you might not have you know 20 fights under your belt, but you're gonna fight like it, and you're gonna you know fake it till you make it, basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're right. Um, I'm 4-1, I'm and one, and that's pretty new compared to some of the girls in my division, but it just doesn't stop me from performing like I'm 20-0. and 0. Nice. What did that win do for you? I mean, does it feel differently this time around? Like you mentioned, I mean, certainly there's pressure, I think, when, when you lose that first one that you got to get a win. Does it feel differently this time around? Like, not, not quite the same way? Um, you know, there's always pressure or whatever to win, you know, um, if you make it to this level, you're a competitor and, and you just want to win no matter what, you know, with a broken foot or, you know, whatever you went through, it doesn't matter, you know, when it, when the cage door closes, it's time to fight. So I'm going to get the butterflies and, you know, this girl that I'm fighting, you know, I'm sure we're going to talk about her in a minute, but, um, she's just as hungry as I am. So, you know, there's no easy competition at this point. So. Same butterflies, same nervousness, but um, yeah, it's it's the same. It doesn't matter who you fight, really. Well, you, you touched on I me. Mean, it is somebody that I, I would think is a little unfamiliar to you, unfamiliar to most people. I think. What did you think when you had to change of opponent? Was it uh, you know difficult to adjust and adapt to, or it doesn't bother you? I mean. It was interesting because we were planning for Jermaine Darandami, you know, for a couple of weeks, and then now we're training for a girl who's basically, in my opinion, completely different, you know, body style, background, um, you know, age, experience level, everything. Um, but it doesn't matter because I know that we put in enough work and that we have a really good game plan. Um, she is green compared to Jermaine and uh, most girls, you know, maybe even me in the division, you know, she's younger. Um, her fights, we may have as many fights, you know, we're both f five fights into our pro career, but she's taken her boom, boom, boom. And, um, you know, obviously it's, win you know, it's working for her. She's undefeated for a reason, but something I learned in my amateur career is that if you don't take time in between fights to work on what you need to work on, to improve on what you're good at, or to, prove, to improve on what you're not good at, um, it's going to hit you fast in, in, a, in a hard way. And I, I think this fight might be her wake-up call, that she might need to stop and take some time to work on what she needs to work on. It's adding to the uniqueness for you, fighting out, out of the country, over here in Germany. What's the, uh, what's the experience been like for you so far? Uh, we've only been here about a day, um, but like, I just feel like a little kid, like, <laughs> like what does that say? What's that for, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm, I'm honored and excited, and you know, like I woke up today like in my hotel bed, I'm in Germany, <laughs> you know, and I just feel like just lucky to be here, get to do what I, I love for a living, and bring my coaches and the people that love me and support me with me. When you play this thing out in your head, how does, how does it go down on Saturday? It's, uh, it's my second UFC win. Um, you know, I'm getting my hand raised and, you know, I'm fighting internationally and, you know, my dreams are coming true one step at a time. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to showcase during the fight? Are you feeling like you might not have showcased? Um, I, you know, the interesting question everyone always asks, do you want a fast knockout or do you want to, like, you know, showcase your kicks and your elbows and your takedowns and this and that? And I just want to win, you know. Um, I know I'm a good fighter. I know I'm well-rounded. And if it goes the distance and I, you know, get to put on, you know, get to show all my skills, and that's great. 
but it would be nice to make it a quick night and go drink a German beer and, you know, have, uh, have my body, you know, not beat up and just take another fight right off the bat um, also. So whatever happens, happens.